came through there and over that wall and into my yard. And if you just kind of look down that way, you can kind of definitely see the path that it took. I, this is not a band-aid solution. This is something that's gotta be, this is, it has to be a permanent solution. You know, or else, why would they authorize building permits on this strip of property if we're right in the middle of a, if we're right in the middle of a wash? Why would they authorize the building permits? Because these homes aren't that old. They're only like, they're less than 20 years old. That's what's crazy about it. That's just, I don't understand why they didn't take that into consideration. Some kind of an environmental impact survey or something. But I'm done with this. That was my dryer. It was a stacked unit. Maytag, electronic, push button. The washer's gone. See? It said here. And it's set there on the Saigon River. <laughs> okay. Everything and it really slowed the water down. But it was running through here. Yeah, see that? Look at that. I don't know. I just put a towel there and when I took my shoes off and everything, my feet were clean. So but I didn't have a way out of here to walk over. So I just slept. See? I kept those shoes on and I just uh Took them off and wiped my feet good. And uh, the bed was, I just put all new clean sheets on it yesterday before the wreck. I took out the, I had to set the TV up there. I took out my TV ottoman, my TV stand I have right here. Because the water went in and out so quick. You know. How much water was in here? A lot. You can see the mud there where it went up over two feet. And then look at that. Moved all the dog bowls. Look at the bathroom, just a mess. Yeah. I just got done cleaning this house good, too. It's gonna be a long time to fix this house. It tore the hot water heater out. There's no water, no hot water heater. I'm surprised it didn't hurt the electricity. Did this you get that picture saved? See, for photographers are sentimental. We'll see. Oh, shoot, that's your daughter? Well, She's big now. Okay, this wash needs to be maintained be behind El Recreo Road because this is the second time their homes have been flooded. And so they just put like a sandy barrier here. The wash, if it was halfway cleaned out, it wouldn't flood Constellation. If you notice right here, this is all Constellation Road, and that comes right from this wash because it hasn't been cleaned out.